Welcome to this episode of Trojan Poetry. This week, I've picked the poem. John has not seen it yet. He has many questions about the poem mm -hmm. because the poem is named or called Question by Mae Swenson. So I hope by the end of this episode, we can answer at least one of John's questions yeah. about question. Me too. Here we go. Body, my house. My horse, my hound. What will I do when you are fallen? Where will I sleep? How will I ride? What will I hunt? Where can I go without my mount? All eager and quick, how will I know in thicket ahead is danger or treasure when body, my good bright dog, is dead? How will it be to lie in the sky without roof or door and wind for an eye? With cloud for shift, how will I hide? Yeah, I don't really have any questions. <laughs> it's all right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm Obvious. Just absorbed it, osmosis. Obvious, and, right, you're right, ready to right, go. right. So uh, forget about it. Well, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? What, well, what, you, you choose. You, you go first. What okay. stood out to you on the first well, read? Well, I first thought, okay, I'm making some sense, because she calls her, she, re, she kind of refers to her body as a house, a horse, and a hound. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. And then she got, where will I sleep, where will I ride, where will I hunt? So I'm like, okay, there's mm -hmm. the... The house, the horse, and the hound. Yeah, I got it, order, right? right. Okay. Where can I go without my mounts? That's the horse. Mm -hmm. All eager and quick. How will I know in thicket ahead is danger or treasure? So that's like what the dog, right? The mm -hmm. dog's going to know what's there. Mm -hmm. When my body, my good, bright dog is dead. So I think the question is, what's going to happen to me when I'm dead? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. right? Yes. What happens when my body is dead? Right. How will it be to lie in the sky without roof or door and wind for an eye? With cloud for shift, how will I hide? So I know that shift could mean like a dress, right? Or right. Like some kind of clothing. Yeah. So she seems to be saying, okay, my body is going to die, mm -hmm. but something is going to be there left. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's that body-mind split or the mm -hmm. body-soul split. Um, and then what is she trying to hide? So that then, so I kind of was getting it, but then I think the, the question is, well, my question is, what is she trying to hide? Yeah, exactly. Why is she oh, hiding? Okay. Right? Well, there, there you go. That's a good question <laughs> yeah. to ask about question. Uh, yeah, I, I thought I got it until one to the third stanza mm -hmm. where it suddenly it changes to how will I know in thicket ahead is danger or treasure, right? And I guess she's trying to create the mindset of an animal, mm -hmm. right? That just kind of Can like stimulus response, right? Yeah. I'm searching something out. Mm -hmm. And then when body, my good bright dog is dead so what i wanted to know is why does it go from triplicate at the top mm -hmm. house horse hound and then all of a sudden it's just my body is the dog i don't know if that matters or well, not well she goes where can i go of, without my mount right so, so the my horse mount would be is the gone horse. right eager and quick how will i and then how will i know to the end is the dog um and then i guess when she's lying in the sky without roof or door that's yeah. the house Right, so she refers back to that. I really like that line, wind for an eye. I thought that was really cool because I can picture her up in the stratosphere just yeah. kind of floating, you know? Right. Um, or is she just become part of the stratosphere and all of the wind is her eye? Like mm -hmm. she's in the ether, kind of like not as yeah. a body, obviously, because the body is gone. Right, but, but it's like, absorbed as part of yeah, the wind. To lie in the sky, but that suggests some kind of. Yeah, there's lying a in, well, in the sky. That's a and hmm. wind for an eye. So wherever the wind blows, she's seeing what's happening yeah, as it goes. For shift, how will I hide? Yeah, what I was wondering is, out of these three things, horse and hound seem to me to be like something you take and you hunt, mm -hmm. or you you go out with outside, right? Mm -hmm. A house, obviously, you can hide in. But if two thirds of her are things that are, you know, almost like extroverts, you know what I mean? Like you would go and use them outside, what, what is she hiding from? Why does she need to hide? It almost seems like there's another poem hidden yeah. or ready to be written mm -hmm. about what she's hiding from or what she needs to hide from. Well, what do you do? What is left of you when your body is gone? Right, I mean, that's part mm -hmm. of the question. Like, what is left of you? And how is your body hiding what the real you is because she seems to be saying when my body is gone i won't have anything to hide in mm -hmm. but what is the i how will i hide mm -hmm. or the identity hide inside a body oh that's mm -hmm. interesting yeah like the i may now this is by may swenson 
Right. Was she a modernist? I know uh, the name, but I don't know Yeah, she lot. was, uh, I want to say she died in the late 70s, maybe. Oh, I'd have okay. to look that up again. But or she maybe, maybe in the 80s, somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah so she, she was around for a long time. She won a ton of awards during her lifetime. Right. The other thing I just realized when you said that, win for an eye, how will mm. I hide? Yeah. I don't know if there's any relationship between that. Um, you know, the identity, uh -huh. seeing. Because that idea that, right, you are... Are you a body? Are you a spirit? Are you the mind? Right? What's the connection between mm -hmm. those two? And if your body is gone, what's left? What's left? And and, mean, and has it been hiding in the body that whole time? The whole time. And it seems like she's more comfortable that way, right? Than potentially letting her real self oh, out, almost like a genie in the bottle. Right now, your mm -hmm. real self is out. Right. And what do you do? What do you do at that point? What would that even be you like? Know, yeah. yeah. So really interesting. I mean, very simple language. Reminds mm -hmm. me, it reminds me kind of like a Charles Simic. Nothing mm -hmm. vocab-wise to get right. in your way, but there's, there's some cool things to think about. So thanks for watching. Please join the conversation in the comments on YouTube or on Twitter at Trojan Poetry DGN. Also, check out our website at trojanpoetrydgn.blogspot.com.